Hey guys, welcome to Grab You a Glass. We are starting a four week series on what I'm calling transitional reds because we are transitioning from summer hot high temperatures to some cooler temps. We're not going full on fall yet, but it's definitely in the air and I'm so here for it. So the one wine that I'm starting off with is a Pinot Noir. Back in February of this year, my husband and I were fortunate enough to get to travel to Willamette Valley in Oregon, and let me tell you, that was just such a fabulous trip. Um, one of the places we visited was Domain Druin. Now, Domain Druin is Joseph Druin's Oregon property. He's in Dundee Hills, um, about 125-ish acres planted and just beautiful wines and when I say that was a gorgeous place to visit it was we were literally standing there drinking our wine and staring out at Mount Hood I mean it was just beautiful 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 but while we were there we obviously tasted through their lineup and the one that I have to taste with you guys today is the Domaine Druin Orgine 34 it's their 21 vintage and this is winery only. So after we tried this, we very quickly realized that we were gonna need a wine suitcase to get all of our purchases home with us. Thankfully, they had those for purchase in their wine shop. Um, this particular wine, like I said, winery only. It's all sustainably farmed. Um, organic farming, hand-picked, hand-de-stemmed, and then it's put into their four-story gravity-fed winery where it's going to go through fermentation. Um, this particular wine is unfined and unfiltered. It is aged for 14 months before bottling. So just some really fun facts of how this is made and yeah, I love that Druin has an Oregon property because I have coined the term Oregonian. I'm sure I'm not the only person that's ever said that, but um, Oregonian wine truly reminds me of like the old world style of wine and it's very Burgundian in style. So I really like that and appreciate that. So let's get into this bad boy because I just need to be taken back. I can't wait to try this again. All right, I've got that cork out of there and my glass is a little different this time. This is a burgundy red wine glass. Um, I believe it's, yeah, Marquis by Waterford. So the shape really helps the wine open up. So here we are. Got a very, very pretty deep garnet color. Oh, it's so beautiful. Mm. That smell alone just took me right back to Oregon. It's, I'm so excited. I can't wait. so perfect. It truly is. Um, Domain Druin knocked my socks off from the very first time I ever had any of their wines. That was just in market. And then when I went and visited, it just continued to impress me even more. So such a beautiful, beautiful wine. I like Pinot's um, typically, obviously, red wine you drink at room temp, but lighter bodied reds, you can sometimes put a slight chill on it. And this one actually has a slight chill because I just got it out of my wine fridge. So, and it's drinking beautifully just like that as is. Or when it warms up to room temp, it also is just gorgeous. So, light bodied, great acid, structure, complexity, all the things. Like I told you in the last video, I am a red wine drinker. I love red wine. 
So I'm so excited to do this series and um, go through some fun transitional reds with you guys. Mm. It's such a beautiful wine. Like I said, winery only. So if you're out in Oregon, go by Domain Druin in Dundee Hills. You will not regret it. Um, but for people who can't get to the winery, they do have some Pinot and Chardonnay from this line that's in the market that is just as fabulous. So Domain Druin, huge fan. I love Burgundian wine. I love that they brought some of their Burgundian soul to the Oregon soil and that they have their estate out there. It makes me so happy. Um, so yeah, next week I'll pick another fun white red for us to try and I can't wait to see you then. Uh, hit the subscribe button and the like button down below and I'll see you next week. Thank you. Bye.